before we start we'll just have some views of the wreck this is her sister ship and this is Zenobia shortly before she sank we're going to start our dive at the red arrow you can see we're just passing that gantry that we saw in the photo and there's some lorries beneath us tied to the deck still we're going to enter the uh, upper cargo space and swim along it's about 80 meters long and the only exit is at the far end that little blue light these are some bottles of water that escaped from one of the lorries and now we come out onto the forecastle after we come out of that door we drop down the side of the ship and we're going to look for the uh, chain locker I'd never dived this wreck before so a couple of army guys took me around the sites including this the chain locker I don't think I'd have liked to have gone in here if I hadn't dived the wreck before or I didn't have a guide lovely look around the interior reminiscent of a James Bond film again we come out onto the uh, forecastle and then we uh, bomb up the various decks all the way up to the bridge this is the passenger deck the restaurant is behind those windows and now we're having a look in a door leading to the staff accommodation we had a look round but not very far and then we came out through a small window on the top of the wreck before heading off towards the bridge just entering the bridge now and this is a picture of the bridge in better days had a quick look round and then exited by the very large windows we're now going to head to the uh, rear of the boat going over the main mast where we're going to uh, enter the passenger compartment the passenger accommodation is basically directly above the upper vehicle deck or cargo space see it in the red arrows I'm going in at the rear and going to make our way to the front used to have a lot of bedrooms etc but uh, the partition walls are all now collapsing Fortunately, there's an awful lot of light in there from the various windows. Just a question of chugging on towards the uh, front of the ship where the uh, restaurant is located. The lower cargo deck and the engine room are also accessible, but the videos I've seen on YouTube suggest that that's uh, quite a bit more scary. Being British divers, we always manage to find the toilet in any shipwreck. And now we found our way all the way through the ship to the uh, restaurant at the bows. I should thank uh, Cy and uh, Pete who showed me around the wreck and Viking Divers for putting me on it in the first place. This video isn't one dive, it was filmed over three or four dives. 
maximum depth was I think when we came out of the chain locker 40 meters.